in this session we will understand about working procedure of the shipping line so as a freight forwarder and custom clearance they are the combination of the shipping line where some agent handle both of work like a custom clearance plus freight so they they are tie up with the shipping line and uh, transfer the good of our, uh, our goods from one country to another country so exporter uh, there is no need to export or go first uh, cha then uh, freight forwarder uh, this uh, agent are available they do work completely just like clearance uh, custom clearance plus freighting freight forwarding so what are the work of the um, such agent we can say which which are involved in this working like a shipping line and custom clearance so uh, work is like a once uh, just like a we are a exporter and we want to export some good so our uh, first uh, requirement to hire the cha or the freight forwarder or we can say agent who are involved in the both of work so we hire the agent and inform to our uh, agent about the our shipment so we send the uh, invoice commercial invoice on the basis of commercial invoice because that in the commercial and packing list everything is mentioned like a volume of the shipment and we can say a uh, route of the shipments port of loading port of discharge destinations so through these things uh, agent can identify the shipment charges and uh take the bo uh, booking uh, take take the booking from the shipping line and share the charges regarding the shipment we can say rate of the shipment okay in in such a way exporter higher uh, best uh, exporter choose the best prices among the uh, all agents and choose one who is the lowest prices but better services also okay so in this case uh, we can understand the big com big company like honda and maruti such companies hire the uh, good agent not bad agent so first check their uh, turnover and the working working last 10 year working reference and after that they hire so this is very important thing to note that not only choose the lower price but the working efficiency also need to check here okay so this is the procedure where we can choose the shipping line for the uh, export the good okay so what are the work we can we will understand in the session so start first once our goods are ready for dispatch we send our uh, commercial invoice and packing list over cha chr we can say agent so what agent do for that agent pick up the container online from the ship uh, shipping website shipping line website okay where you need to mention port of loading port of discharge plus the size of the container and he know uh, agent knew about the size of container through the invoice and packing list because we inform container size and uh, volume of the shipments so uh for the betterment exporter and agent can also uh, convert conversation on that so that uh, the container is size can be met okay size can met as per requirement okay so once containers booked from the shipping line okay as per booking line delivery orders agent send the transporter and hand over him to delivery order to pick up the container from the shipping line yard okay so here there is one important point once before picking the containers the container need to be checked and verify that it container is okay or not maybe some container damage okay so at that time uh, transporters person will check and we can say agent person will check in 
चेक द कंटेनर फॉर द स्टफिंग ओके सो एन अदर थिंग इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट हीयर वंस कंटेनर इज ओके देन कंटेनर सेंड टू द फैक्ट्री बाय द ट्रांसपोर्टर एंड वंस कंटेनर रिसीव एट द फैक्ट्री द कंपनी इंस्पेक्शन टीम आल्सो इंस्पेक्ट द कंटेनर वेयर कंटेनर शुड बी क्लीन एंड इंटैक्ट ओके नॉट फ्रॉम नॉट शुड बी डेमेज एंड फ्लोर मस्ट बी क्लीन एंड इंटैक्ट नॉट ऑयली वी कैन से इफ कंटेनर इज ऑयली देन इट वुड द वी कैन से फ्ली द फोर क्लिप टायर्स विल स्लीप वेन स्टफिंग द कंटेनर सो इन दिस दिस स्मॉल स्मॉल थिंग वी नीड टू टेक केयर सो दैट देर इज नो प्रॉब्लम Final, at the final destination because that we are not loading this container but our consignee will also unloaded the goods so we need to check this thing so this was the point of pick up and after that there is second point which is origin custom clearance so in this procedure agent is involved so after taking this container from our factory to yard the documentation we have prepared we hand over to the driver of the vehicle in which our material is going to this icd container inland container depot okay so when uh, the goods receive at the icd yard the cha sorry driver need to show the document to the at the gate of the custom then he check then verify the document then he get entry inside the yard okay so here the custom yard not shipping line so here the goods unloaded at appropriate place where it can be it will be examination okay so that time uh, the goods and uh, the document of shipments hand over to the chr agent representative who available there and then the time of examination the agent will get examine through the government officer so you need to present the document at that time physical examinations the custom inspector check okay and verify the documents regarding shipment and he need all documents which require for the examinations if he found some mismatch then uh, inspector uh, government of inspector object for the same okay so this is the procedure when after the examinations shipment get late export order from the custom and shipping bills generated that time okay so there are uh, copies of the shipping bill like a uh, copies of the shipping line uh, in in this ep copy export exporter copies and tr copies so tr copies will be hand over to the shipping line and the copy of the uh, exporter copy and the ep copy hand over to the exporter through the cha because all documentations will complete at the point of examination and all invoice and packing list in our documents endorsed by the custom officer and the set of document uh, sent to the exporter with other document also so that uh, other document like a bill of lading commercial invoice and all free trade areas uh, certificate so this document at this point uh, our uh, agent will wait for all document and send complete documents set to the exporter because uh, bill of lading only get after the uh, shipment sell from the origin country okay in case of the sbbl so we have an understanding two point here pick up and origin custom clearance so uh, remaining other points we will understand in the next session
सो गाइज थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग दिस सेशन हैव ए नाइस डे